Mate, oh. Right, back on board. Four o'clock Monday afternoon. Nice day out there. It's warm now, which is great. Clouds, but uh, I don't think it's going to rain on us, which will be good. So we're carrying on out here. Got some painting to do. So there the step with the back tan on. I've got two of them, like that. Still got loose paint on the back and the sides and everything. Internally, I just need the top coat on the gloss. Right. First thing I'm going to do is going to whiz around with this and wire brush it all, get all loose stuff off. And then I've also brought pack of uh, soft pads. So they start at 40 grit, then 60, 80, 120. So 40 is very coarse. And uh, we'll get it all cleaned off and uh, some undercoat on it or primer on it. That's my plan. So we'll start, I'll get it loose as I go, loose stuff off. And then what I want to do today is inside them, get top coat on there and then I can start using them. So we'll see how far we get. That's a uh, mucky job done. And it's getting a bit warm out there. So we've got some uh, enamel, quick drying enamel paint we're going to use in those lockers. We'll get those done and get the lids done. And uh, the steps, oh they all want priming, sorry. In the bottom, with all the primer in, we're putting the grey on the finished uh, enamel paint on. That's it, so we'll get the painting gear and get stuck in. Oh, hey folks, welcome back to a hot sweaty afternoon, about 4 o'clock now, so it's cooling down a little bit, I think it's about 25 degrees out there, excuse me, but uh, luckily a lot of that area out there is in the shade, and it ain't that hot at the moment, the, the deck, so I'm going to get cold to this, uh, uh, like the surface uh, finish on, which we've got this stuff, It's Kuvar uh, firm that make lots of different paints. It's Sure Grip Anti Slip Floor Paint. 
sort of concrete wooden metal for interior exteriors. We have used it before on steel staircases outside and it seems to work okay. It contains a grit in it. Right, it contains a sort of grip in it, the grit. It's very mixed anti-slip floor coating. Contains a professionally dispersed combination of resins bonded to aggregates. The resultant surface is not only a true anti-slip abrasive but finish but it also provides a good degree of durability, decoration and protection. Ideal. So out there we'll do the deck, the main deck, the walking bit, under the side steps and the side steps. I'm just going to get all them done because you have to leave it like 16 hours before you can put another coat on. It says you have to use two coats of it. So I need to get that done now. Cause it's my last chance for four days to get uh, anything done on here because I'll be away. So I want to get that before I go away uh, tomorrow. So. We'll get the stuff out there and get a coat on. It's only take us 20 minutes to get a covering on. And we'll have a look what it's like then. Oh, I'm missing a bit. Because the other day I came up and I forgot the camera. And I did vac tan all the deck. Uh, it had two coats of vac tan on it. And then I got uh, two coats of primer on it. So, and, uh, so vac tan's like a primer as well. You've got four primer coats on there. Now it's a top coat. It looks a bit different. Looks a bit smarter now. Well, let's have a quick look out there. So that's it now. That's all primer coated. The inside of those lockers have all had two coats of the uh, gloss on it. So they're finished internally and the no Norseman hull signs looking a bit different. Yeah, yeah I've just been outside got a few footprints and I'll just give them a wipe off and then we'll get the steps done here. Either side and the underside's done and that'll be it although it will want another couch on.
Well, that's first coat on. Sweaty like a glass blower's arse. Right. Let's have a look. <laughs> I like that. Quite close, you can actually see the grit in it. You can feel it in the paint. There's billions of whatever they are, thingies floating about. So non-stick, non-stick, non-slip step, the non-stick deck. Exactly what we want, that'll do me. And that colour's fine, because you don't want it too light. Else it'll be just mucky all the time, won't it? Okay folks, following day, 24 hours later, so just a quick one because I'm away in the morning, is uh, I'm just getting another coat on here, but I'm really happy with it at the moment. That's one coat on it, it says must have a minimum of what, two coats, and uh, it's a really good grip, what's on it, so I'm happy with that. And, but there are a bit of blotchy bit so I'm going to just put a coat on not with a roller I'm just going to use the brush this time to stick the next coat on so I'm going to put the coat on and as I work my way out I'll remove that uh, masking tape so we should get a straight line all the way around that's it I've done it I've got a few splashes I'm not a very good painter but uh, the whole front's going to be painted anyway by <laughs> a guy who can paint Lee so I've got that base done now and uh, it'll all be dry for tomorrow and it, it looks uh, alright for to me anyway. <laughs> right there we are, that's what she looks like now. So a bit of an improvement, uh, well, about four days work in there. Gonna need more paint Gary. folks welcome back on board Potemkin Sunday morning again as usual so carrying on just out there another little job to do in that uh, well area is I want to put external plugs on uh, sockets rather so I've been to screw fix and bought this one weatherproof outdoor switch socket so a couple of normal plug sockets and a couple of those things for um, USBs or whatever they call them so that'll go on nicely out there above that step where the old gas pipe has come through higher up uh, there's already a hole pre-drilled and it just matches in nicely for this to sit guarded underneath uh, the side of the boat so under the gunnel area so to protect it a bit they're not going to stand on anything so I'm going to use that existing hull and um, put uh, uh, the wire through that. So I'm just going to drill this out and then I will drill and tap some holes out there, four holes for this to mount on. And then uh, it can go on and we'll uh, then wire it up and have a plug out there so you don't have to trail wires through windows and things like that. <laughs> so it's, uh, I hate doing that. <laughs> pull things through a window and mess about. You want to sock it outside, aren't you? So, I'm going to get this put on.
that's it. It's all working. So I've got two uh, sockets outside now. And uh, they should be very useful for working on the outside of this boat. Because next week, hopefully if the weather's alright, we're getting a scabbler and we're going to strip the paint off this boat and get the roof done and uh, as much else as we can get done this year uh, we'll just have to see how long it takes and everything, I've no idea it's a bit of a mess we'll just have a look outside now, the well deck so that's the paint on it, I'll put another coat on yet I'll have a couple more coats on but uh, it's all going to get properly painted shortly And there's our sockets tucked away so we're not going to stand on them or anything so that's it now for the well deck for the time being shan't be doing any more painting in there so like I say is uh, the boat's going to get scabbled and uh, make a bit of a difference <laughs> outside uh, so that should be coming up next week it's all down to the weather so anyway that's it so Thanks everyone for watching and leaving comments and liking etc. I do appreciate it. Subscribe if you'd like to. I'll see you all later. Ta-ra!